In this video, let's understand a bit more about the key attribute binding when rendering a list of elements. In view, it is a common practice and also recommended to provide a key attribute with the v4 directive whenever possible. Key is a special attribute which is primarily used as a hint for Vue's virtual DOM algorithm to identify nodes when diffing the new DOM tree with the old DOM tree. Or in simple words, the key attribute helps Vue identify which items in a list have changed, are added or removed and plays a crucial role in handling UI updates correctly and efficiently. What I want to do is show you an example where the absence of the key attribute can actually lead to bugs in the UI. And I'm going to use Code Sandbox for this purpose. The example uses concepts in view that we haven't covered yet. So let's focus on just the v4 directive and the UI. I will leave a link to this demo in the description for you to have a look at when watching this video. Now, as you can see, in the data object, we have a property called names with four strings. In the template, we have the v4 directive iterating over the list of names. In each iteration, we display the name and we also have an input element to accept the last name. You can see this in the UI on the right hand side. Along with this list, we also have a button called shuffle which simply shuffles the list of names. If I click on the button, you can see that the list in the UI is shuffled every time. Now let's enter some text in the input boxes. So I'm going to refresh and then enter the last name, Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent. I'll leave the other two empty. Now, I want you to closely observe what happens when I click on the shuffle button. You can see that the names are shuffled, but the last names don't shuffle. So we now have Barry Wayne and Clark Kent, which obviously isn't what we expect. I click on shuffle again, and the same thing happens. We have Diana Wayne and Bruce Kent. This is the drawback of not using the key attribute binding when rendering a list of elements. When you don't specify the unique key, view simply patches the data in each element rather than change the node completely. This behavior causes a bug when working with temporary state like the DOM state. In the template, if I add the key attribute binding, key is equal to name, refresh and enter the last name, and now click on the shuffle button, we can see the behavior is as expected. We have Clark Kent at the top and then Bruce Wayne. Shuffle again, we have Bruce Wayne at the top and the third entry is Clark Kent. All right, now that we have a better understanding of the key attribute, let me summarize the important points. The key attribute is a special attribute and is primarily used as a hint for Vue's virtual DOM algorithm to identify nodes when diffing the new list of nodes against the old list. When used with the v4 directive, the key attribute should always have a unique value in each iteration. Without keys, Vue uses an algorithm that minimizes element movement and tries to patch or reuse elements of the same type in place as much as possible. This means that if you don't use keys, it is actually more efficient when shuffling a list of elements. However, not using keys is only suitable when your list render output does not rely on temporary DOM state or child component state. Now we haven't talked about components, but just make sure you keep this point in mind. Now, although the default behavior of patching is more efficient, 
it can lead to problems like we have seen in the code sandbox example. So it is recommended to provide a key attribute with the v4 directive whenever possible. It's probably wiser to use the key attribute and take a tiny hit on performance than shipping buggy UI to production. A typical value to provide to the key attribute is the ID property in an object. But any unique property will do as long as it's not a non-primitive value like objects or arrays. So that is about the key attribute binding. I just wanted to ensure you understand why we use that attribute and hopefully this video did that. Alright then, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.